mathematician, from institutions, and so on, you, don't, you are not anymore something easy for them to deal with. Because you are at the same time having your own projects, your own priorities, education, whatever, and also you add something else on top of it. And therefore, you are multiplying the uncertainties about what you stand for. And last point, what is this kind of Europe you stand for? So I send you the question back. Tell me what kind of Europe you stand for. Because as far as I know, EG is not an international student movement. It is a European student movement. And you have a change of name. You are not called the Association des États Généraux des Étudiants du Monde. Uh, I mean, you stand for Europe. What is this Europe which has no border? I don't say the contrary. I even say that some things of Europe today should be given. So I was pointing out that Europe is not the EU, and I understand your point, and I thank you for it. But I would like to point out, as you said, that we are dealing with people here, we are dealing with flesh. So it seems a bit of a contradiction to me that now you suggest we follow the institutions, we follow their borders and their lines instead of our personal feelings, our attachments to people here who are the same as us, EU, non-EU, or anything like that. It's a point that I recommend to follow the institutions. That maybe it's the only point where I do that. No, seriously. You have two ways. To connect people. Do it. Either you build bridges. But bridges need pillars on two sides. Or you just enlarge your house. My point is the enlargement of the house is over. So it's not a supposition, it's not an opinion. The enlargement as a political project within the EU is tech. The Balkans are still on the agenda and will be, but outside of that, there is nowhere anymore political support, uh, citizen support, majority support, and so on for that. So it's a completely over. So the point is that this attempt has failed. EJ can keep on doing it if it wants. But my remark is how long can it go on in this way, knowing that it will be the only one or most keeping on? And when I say about connecting people, I've been co building networks with the US, with Latin America, in Turkey, with Turkish people, and so on, with many, many countries. But always as a bridge, you need to know where is your pillar, where is your anchor, and then you build the bridge and you connect. It is also the only way to know what you bring to people. If you don't know where you stop, If you don't know where are limits, you don't know who you are. And what can I get from somebody who doesn't know who he is? 